Icon of the Saints is a cruise ship built for Royal Caribbean International and will be the leadership of the Icon Club. It is set to enter service in early 2024 out of Port Miami in the USA at 250,800 US Icon of the Seas is the largest cruise ship in the world. In October 2016, Royal Caribbean and Mayor Togo announced an order to build cruise ship under the project name. The ship are expected to be delivered in the third quarter of 2024 and 2025 and are going to be classified by DH. Icon of the ship is powered by liquefied natural gas and cost a of 250,800. The ship has six multi foil Wachilia engines generating 67,500 kilowatt of power. The engines can be powered by both LNG and distillate. Icon of the seas also contain other alternative energy features like the use of fuel cells to produce electricity and fresh water. Icon of the seas is the first Royal Caribbean vessel to use drug technology. What the machine? Let's get going. Have you ever come to try comparing Icon of the seas to Titanic? Well, if not, we are going to see that in this video. So make sure you keep watching. The Titanic in 1912 was more than 852 feet long with 46,329 gross tonnage. The icon of the sea's tonnage is five times that of the Titanic. At the front of the ship is the Aqua Dome with a 55 foot waterfall and 220 degrees view. There is a Mediterranean restaurant and two floors on deck in the suite neighborhood. Icon of the Seas can accommodate 9,950 people, of which 7,600 are guests and 2,355 are crew members. This is much more than the 2,435 guests and 892 crew members that could be accommodated on board the Titanic. Speed isn't particularly important in cruise ships, as they are designed to make leisurely journeys and have plenty of time to move from one port of call to the next. Both Titanic and Icon of the Seas are pretty average in terms of speed. But even the fastest cruise ship, Queen Mary 2, can only move at a top speed of 13 knots. 